Hello and welcome to the fifth Java programming video. In this video I'm going to show you how to use if statements. So basically an if statement is something that you check for. For example you can check if a number is over 100 and if it is you will make something happen. Or you can check if something is true or false or if a string contains certain letters or something like that. Basically anything that can be transformed into a true statement, so to say. So for example, if 150 is more than 100, then it's true. So I'm going to start by creating a new package for this video. Video 5. And I create a new class. Name it if statements. Make it contain the public static void main. I'm going to remove those and then I'm going to create the method public void program and then I'm going to create I'm going to create an object out of our if statement org equals to new if statement and then prog dot program here you go there we have the basics I'm now going to initialize two numbers and then we are going to compare them. For example, int number 1 equals to 50, number 2 equals to 100. And then we're going to we're going to compare them below here. So for example, if this is how we do it. If and then everything inside of these parentheses is going to be what we are going to check. So for example, if I were to type this, number 1, more than 100, oh sorry, more than number 2. Basically this means that if number 1 is more than number 2, we're going to do everything inside of these brackets. So for example, if I were to type out system dot out dot print line, number one is higher than plus number two. It will tap out number one, which is fifty, is higher than number two. So that shouldn't happen right, so we're going to test it. I know as you can see nothing comes out on the console. If I were to change this to something like five hundred, it would actually come out because five hundred is higher than one hundred. And after an if statement, you can add an else. Basically this means that if this is not true, we will check this one. And if we want more than two options, we can add else if number two is more than number one. So if number one is not higher than number two, we will skip this and we will check the next statement. So then we check is number two higher than number one? Just going to copy this. That, and that means that number one is higher than number sorry, number two is higher than number one. And then we can add one last statement, which is else. So basically if this is not true, if this is not true, then this is going to happen no matter what. And since they aren't since one of them is not smaller or greater than the other, that pretty much means that they are equal. So number one is equal to number two. And we're going to check it. 500 is higher than 100. Is 500 equal to 500? Let's see. Yes, 500 is equal to 500. And then we're going to increase number two. And 600 is higher than 500. I guess this happens. So pretty much this is the basics of if statements. You can add more complex stuff, which I'm going to show you now. First of all, I'm going to show you how to check if something is equal to something, and not if it's just greater than or something like that. Basically, it's this. Else if. Basically, it's this. If 
number equals to sorry number one equals to let's say 25 or 35 that's how you check in sec check if something is equal to number two number one is equal to 35 just going to check if it works Actually, it will not occur as you will see now, because even though 35 is number one is equal to 35, this statement already happens. This one over here, so we will we will just skip these two. So if this were true, we would skip everything else and not check it. And if this is true, we will skip those two, etc., etc. So, anyways, and now we're going to check to show you how to check for two comparisons in one statement. So for example, if number one is more than number two, okay, then. there we go, and number one more than zero. So basically this means if number one is more than number two and number one is more than zero this will happen. So we're going to make sure that number one is higher and it is more than zero as you can see it is a positive number but if I were to change this it would not happen. And minus 35 is equal to minus 200. No, it's not, and that's because we added this, so it doesn't really work as it should. But never mind that. So basically, those two are and, and those two are or. So both of these do not have to be true, only one of them. That's what or means, and and means that both of them have to be true. If one is false, it will not happen. That was all for this video. Thank you a lot for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe to the channel and give the videos a thumbs up. And maybe even share them. It would really help a lot. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to use loops. Basically, it is a part of a code that will repeat itself over and over until you tell it to stop. So hopefully I will see you in the next video. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.